Well, good morning, everybody. And everybody is you, because there's no one else here. Uh, hope you're having a beautiful day. Today we're going to uh, hit on a very important topic. I would say this might be my first geometry throwdown. This might be my first geometry one. I don't know. have to check the old archive for a moment. Uh, again, we got the nice, nice big uh, cavernous room. So you got that little echo. Uh, it's all good. It's not as good when you teach, but it's beautiful when you sing. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. I can't help myself. Uh, Alright, so we got a right triangle here. We know the hypotenuse. We don't know that side, and we want that side. Now, we would like to Pythagorize because it's fun. It's fun to drop the Pythagorean theorem, but unfortunately for that to work, you need two sides, and we only got one side, so what are we going to do? Well, the answer is, we're going to use trig functions. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to hit you up with a little Sokotoa knowledge right now. So we have, uh, there are three trig functions. There's the sine, which is the ratio of the opposite to the hypotenuse. There's the cosine, which is the ratio of the adjacent to the hypotenuse. And there's the tangent, which is the ratio of the opposite to the adjacent. So when you're thinking about which one do you want to use, you know, like, well, Mr. Nettle, there's three of them there. I, I don't know which one's the adjacent, right? Let's talk, all right? So first of all, the hypotenuse is always the hypotenuse. It's always the one across from the right angle. It's always, I mean, hypotenuse, the word, it's like a noun, right? It just, it is something, it's the hypotenuse. But the opposite, even the word implies something else, right? Because you, you need, you gotta be opposite to something, right? And you can't just be opposite, opposite of what, right? So, when we're talking about opposite, you, gotta be, you have to give me an angle. Opposite to which angle? So we have, we're given 32. So when we're talking opposite, opposite of 32, you could just draw a little angle out there. That's the opposite side. Money. A is adjacent. Even, even you just you, you can't just be, I'm adjacent. <laughs> adjacent to what? Right? And so when you're talking about adjacent, you have to pick an angle. So in this case, we got the 32. So adjacent to the 32. That's this one right here. The adjacent side is, is literally makes up part of the angle. Okay, so we got opposite, we got adjacent. See, hypotenuse just stands alone. Hypotenuse is just what it is. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be referenced to anything. It is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Okay, so we start to think about which one should we use, sine, cosine, or tangent. Well, a lot of this is always dictated by what do we got and what do we need. Well, what we have is the hypotenuse. So we're probably not going to be using tangent because tangent doesn't, it's the ratio of the tangent doesn't have the hypotenuse. And that's what we got. So it's going to be between sine and cosine. Now because we want the opposite side and we're given the hypotenuse, it stands the reason that sine kind of steps up and says, yo, I got this. So here's the notation. We go the sine of 32 is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which is, is in this case, is x over 10. Now the sine of 32, is physically it is something because every right triangle with an angle 32 is similar. And similar shapes, the ratio of their sides are always proportional. So we know what this ratio is. Maybe we measured it one day with a different 32 degree uh, right triangle. So we know what it is. And what it is today, it will be tomorrow. But I don't know what it is. Because I didn't bring a calculator, so I got to run and get one. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I didn't bring a calculator. Who doesn't bring a calculator, right? Um, okay, so uh, I'll do this for you. Maybe I'll put it here. We got the sine of 32 is equal to 0 0.5299. You see that? So we got 0 0.5299. That is equal to x over 10. 
The sine of 32 equals 0.5299. It will equal that today, it equal that yesterday, tomorrow it's gonna equal 0.5299. Next week it's gonna equal 0.5299. If you grow up and you become an astronaut, you fly to the moon, the sign of 32, even on the moon, still equals 0.5299, always. It's constant. But that's the beauty. Because look, now there's only one unknown. Now we can actually solve for x, even though we only knew one side. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by 10 because I want to clear that denominator. I almost went to my calculator for that, but now I know I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. Because I'm multiplying by 10, I can handle that. And it just means you take the decimal and move one over. 5.299 is equal to x. Holla! Beautiful! But I know, I know what you're saying. At least I know what some of you are saying. Some of you are saying, Mr. Miller, that's all fine and good. I'm sure even half of it's right. But you see, my, uh, my, my religious convictions have told me never to sin. And you asking me to sin, and mama said never sin. You don't have to sin in geometry. Don't worry. Don't worry, I don't want you to have to, uh, to uh, take out your rosary beads and uh, do some Hail Marys after your homework. So if you don't want to sin, don't sin. Just find the other angle. <laughs> that's it. Just find the other angle. Look, look, you know what it is. If that's 90, that's 32. It's no damn mystery what that one is. Uh, if it was 60, it would be 58, right? Oh, because it's got to add up to 180. Because it always adds up to 180. All right. So look at, look at, what, look at what that did for us. See, if we're talking about the 58 degree angle, all of a sudden this is the opposite side. I'm opposite, opposite to what, right? So even the word implies, so in this case we're opposite 58, and this is adjacent. Adjacent to what, right? Adjacent to the 58 degree angle. And, and here's why you don't have to sin, right? Because look, look, I'll, I'll do it right above. I'll even switch colors. Um, I'll even make it green. Because now, the ratio we, we uh, have is we want the adjacent, and we have the hypotenuse. So look, we say, oh, okay, cosine of 58 is the ratio of the adjacent to the hypotenuse, which is x over 10. And what do you think the, co the, the cosine of 58 degrees is gonna be? Do we even need to put it in our calculator? Well, just to convince ourselves, why don't we? Here we go. Uh, cosine of 58. Boom. Hey, how about that? It equals the same damn thing the sine of 32 did. Of course, because it's the same ratio. Of course the cosine of 58 equals the sine of 32 because they equal the same thing. It's the same ratio. Both of them are the ratio of that side to this side. <laughs> Of course it's the same. So now I'm not gonna bother solving it, right? And of course we can get the same answer. Once again, x equals 5.299. Boom! This is just math, people. That's all it is. That's all this is. It's just math. You have fun with it, you play around with it, it's friendly. Uh, let's do one more. Let's do one more. <laughs> I, you know, these things, see, with the right triangle, these are nice. Just, I'm just guessing, I mean, I'm not drawing up a scale or anything. I'm giving that a 90. Let's call this, what do you think it is? No, come on. It's not 80 degrees. Uh, 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 let's go 55. Okay, 55. Uh, all right, so that's 55. Sweet. Now we need something else. Let's uh, let's say we want uh, the hypotenuse this time, and we're giving this to be uh, five. All right, there we go. So again, Sokoto is going to be our friend. I don't even know why I erased it. Sokoto. 
I mean, obviously, it stands for the sine is the opposite over that hypotenuse, the cosine is the adjacent over that hypotenuse, and the tangent is the opposite uh, over the adjacent. So just say it with me. Uh, Sokotoa, which stands for, yeah, some old hippie, kind, another hippie taking old acid, right on. All right, good job. All right, so here we go. That's the hypotenuse. Again, hypotenuse, it's like a, a feel, I mean, I'm not really, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna throw it out as, a, as some grammar uh, aficionado, but it feels like a noun, like it doesn't need to be referenced to anything. It's the hypotenuse. When we're talking which side is opposite, I really feel like you gotta say opposite to what, you know? Like, it just can't be inherently opposite. So, uh, in this case, that is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent side. Okay, so as far as the 55 degree angle is concerned, we have the opposite, we want the hypotenuse. So again, sine wins out. So the sine of 55 is equal to the ratio of the opposite to the hypotenuse, which in this case is 5 over x. All right, so what's the sine of 55? Well, let's ask the calculator. The sine of 55 is 0.8191. Is that 0 0.8191? What the sine of 55 is today, it will be tomorrow. And that equals 5 over x. You see, we are not just going to impulsively multiply everything by 5, because last time we multiplied by 10, it was, right? This time we're going to see that x is in the denominator, which makes, our, makes it um, the algebra a little bit more fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply that by x, both sides by an x, because it clears the denominator, which is ultimately what I wanted. So now I get 0.8191x is equal to 5. So I need to divide, boom. So x is equal to... 5 divided, oh geez, we have 5 divided by 0.8191. We got ourselves 6.1 sports fans. 6.1 sports fans, that's gotta feel good. You should feel good about yourself if you got that. Be proud. Mr. Miller, you told us I didn't have to sin. I was at church on Sunday, the preacher told me never to sin. Alright, alright, hey man, hey whatever, it's all good, it's all good, just come here and say to yourself, alright, hey, no worries, no worries, that's 35, it has to be 35, we got it at the 90, now, we got different opposite and adjacent. This one's opposite. Opposite to what? Can't just be inherently opposite. Opposite to 35. This one's adjacent to 35. So now we just go and say, all right, well, hey, you don't want to use the sine? Don't use it. Use the cosine. Cosine 35 is equal to the adjacent over that hypotenuse. I ain't going to my calculator. If these two things equal the same thing, then they must also be equal. You're gonna, you're gonna think I'm crazy. This is actually my day off. I came into grade, just get all caught up in my grade, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw down a little, a little, a little trig. And now it's off to the gym. And I have this little dog. Her name is uh, Olive. So I like to run her first. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna run her along this creek trail. Uh, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't know what you're gonna do, but I hope you're enjoying this uh, beautiful world. Hi, take care.